Gentlemen, good evening. Chris here. Tonight I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about Razor Rock Four Fine uh, American Blend Shaving Soap. I have a really hard time saying that and not saying aftershave, uh, since Fine is so known for their aftershave, but this is their new shaving soap. So I put online and I said, hey guys, uh, who would like to see me do a, um, a video on it? And like both of my subscribers said yes. So I said, all right, I guess I'll make one for tonight. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my shave of the night um, and the products that I've used. Uh, it was kind of a little bit of a disappointing shave. I'm not going to lie to you and I'm going to tell you why. So this came out. Everyone got this in their mailbox today if you ordered it. Um, it was very, very anticipated, certainly by me, because like I said, I really, really like their aftershave. Um, so I had this notion in my head of what it was it was going to smell like. Uh, I had an expectation. Um, bold, you know, nice and strong barbershop scent. Uh, I had that in my mind when I bought it, and then when it came today, I opened up the package, and... I'm a little bit bummed out. To me, the scent is very, very mild, which is odd considering the fact that most people who have come to know the American Blend scent have come to know it through the aftershave which like I said is very very strong and bold so I think it would stand to reason that most of the customers who bought uh, this soap were thinking that that's what they were going to get and I think uh, from my nose it's very very mild at best uh, which is bringing up a problem that I'm starting to notice regarding a couple Razor Rock soaps. Now I got a bunch of them recently and uh, tried them all out, opened up the jars and smelled them. Now there was only two that had very, very forward pronounced scents. And that was Z Pepino and Don Marco. Now Z Pep is one of my favorites. It's been in a couple of my videos. Don Marco is a bergamot neroli scent. I'm actually not that huge into it, um, so I, I sold it. However, I will say this about Don Marco. I really liked the power of the scent. It was very, very forward. You are starting to get a little bit away from that when you get this um, and a couple of the other soaps. I'm not necessarily certain what's going on, if it's something in the formulation, but uh, it's almost like the scent gets a little bit lost under a layer of smells that are what comprise the ingredients of the soap. Okay, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. Um, do I not like this? No, it's Razor Rock. I like stuff from Razor Rock. It's got a decent barbershop scent to it, but it's just not as powerful as I'd like it to be. Um, now, the other thing with Razor Rock or fine aftershaves is that they have menthol in them, and they certainly tried to incorporate that here, and again, I find that to be rather weak, which is okay for me. Actually, I'm not a big uh, menthol guy. Um, I don't really like that huge kick. Uh, you know, in the summer it's a little bit nice, but most of the time I just find it to be, feel medicated and, and irritating. Um, but, so for me it's okay. I don't mind that there's just a little bit of menthol in it. But if you have the aftershave, you're going to expect a lot of cooling uh, when you're going to slap American Blend onto a soap. Um, but it's not so much there. I got it a little bit around my lips a little bit on the first pass or first uh, lather, and I, it was... It was okay. Um, the rest of my face, it really, really didn't start to tingle at all until about the third pass. And uh, then it started to become a little bit more pronounced. So um, I really, really don't think that this lives up to the scent and to the name of Fine American Blend. And uh, maybe, maybe they need to go back to the drawing board a little bit on this one. I just think it misses the mark on what people have come to expect from that name and that brand. So that's my thoughts on fine uh, American Blend soap. Um, tonight was kind of a Butterfingers shave for me too, and that's where I just start dropping stuff. Maybe I'm just a little bit tired, uh, but the uh, brush I used tonight in my shave is uh, my Samoga 1438, which got a nice little ding on it tonight. Um, dropped it on the floor and I lost some paint. Uh, but the one thing I want to talk about uh, that I did drop tonight and it inevitably happens if you have this, and that is my Allen block. Finally took the spill. I don't think in the history of the world anyone has ever 
uh, finished an Allen block. It's just simply not possible, not without dropping it and breaking it. The thing that concerns me and that I need to bring to your attention is that uh, not so much that my dumbass dropped my Allen block and broke it, but it's how it broke. Um, when it hit the floor, it broke into a like slushy, um, slurry, kind of like you get from uh, like sidewalk salt uh, during the winter time. Now, I'm not saying that this is the fault of the alum. I'm saying this is my fault. And it's my fault because what I tend to do is I take this alum block and I just run it through a, a towel to dry it off really quick. I put it inside of this uh, handy little snap case, close it up, put it back in my, uh, my cupboard, and that's the end of it. Um, I think that doing that may have soaked the alum and made it to where it broke the way it did. So water, I think, can saturate this, break down the crystals and make it to where it broke the way it did. My uh, Art of Shaving block, when I dropped that, kind of broke cleanly like a piece of glass. This didn't do that. It, it broke into uh, you know hundreds of pieces all over my floor. Um, so guys, uh, just so you know, maybe a good idea to take your Allen block once you're done with it at night, dry it off, and leave it on your counter overnight to air out. Don't put it back in the box like I did because now I've got to go get a new Allen block. So that was my uh, review of uh, my shave of the night uh, featuring Fine American Blend. Still going to keep it. Still going to keep trying it, hoping that maybe this just needs to cure a little bit more. I don't know. Wishful thinking maybe on my part, but I want to believe, okay? So, guys, that's it for tonight. If you have any questions or comments, leave them uh, down below. Uh, if you're so uh, inclined, uh, like or subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you very much, and I will talk with you guys again really soon. Have a good night, gentlemen.